Students and teachers at Greenwood High School got a hastily announced remote learning day today. As Fox 59 Steve Brown reports, it was the result of some overnight vandalism. This man from the Salvation Army was at Greenwood High School hoping to hire some students. We're looking to hire for the summer for lifeguards and for camp counselors. But instead, he got these posted signs. And it said, today this school is closed. And I came out here today and I didn't really know what happened or took place. What closed the school was vandalism. Shortly after midnight, four people entered through an open band room door. We were not allowed to see the damage, but were told it was caused when people emptied fire extinguishers, possibly eight of them, filled with monomonium phosphate, a powdery fire suppressant with some downsides. If it's airborne, it's a respiratory hazard. If it's um, on the ground, it's no hazard really. And if you're sweaty, maybe it might be a, ha a skin irritant, but other than that, it's not anything at all. But what I read, it makes a real mess. It does make a mess. Yeah, absolute mess. And this man who identified himself as the school's operations director said staff and teachers spent the morning successfully cleaning up the mess. As to who might be responsible for the mess inside the high school, well, to those folks, you should know you got your picture taken. There are cameras inside and outside the high school. So, fair to say they got a pretty good idea who's responsible? Yeah, the police department's reviewing all the video footage with the school administration and everything. Greenwood police described the vandals as kids, adding there is an active investigation underway. Meanwhile, the school superintendent wrote the high school is set to resume in-person instruction tomorrow morning. In Greenwood, Steve Brown, Fox 59 News. Investigators